Is it going to get worse before it gets better in the United States? Because after all, we've had an African-American president for six years. Ferguson is a racially charged situation. You're an African-American running for president on the Republican side. And I say that with the assumption that you will run. And I, I know you haven't formally declared, but you're all but in. Is it going to be another hundred years before this tableau stops unfolding every time there's a white black incident? Well, you know, I actually believe that things were better before this president uh, was elected. And I think that things have uh, gotten worse uh, because of his unusual emphasis. Can you explain more? What what do you mean by that? How did they get worse and how did he contribute to it? Well, for instance, uh, the incident with with Henry Louis Gates, uh, Skip Gates, and, you know, him calling out the police and... You know, how they always do this kind of thing. And, uh, you know, the Trayvon Martin case. You know, if I had a son, this is what he would look. Rather than, you know, trying to, to take the balanced, objective look at things. And then, you know, what's happened here. Uh, and then the way, which, which really irritates me to some degree, uh, the way he and a bunch of progressives manipulate particularly minority communities, to make them feel that they are victims. And, of course, if you think you're a victim, you are a victim. And Was uh, Michael I, Brown a victim, Dr. Carson? Uh, well, he became a victim based on perhaps not uh, having a well-established ideal of how to relate to authority. Let me also ask you, when you say things were better before this president... Some have said the president plays the so-called race card. Do you think he does? Yes, absolutely. Is he doing so right now? Uh, he's, he's trying very hard not to, because I think he is aware that, that people are suspicious of him doing that. So, uh, you know, we keep an eye on him uh, and, and hope for the best. 